Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is your boy Sabi Jos. And I'm Megan. So in this video, we are going to try something different. Uh, we are outside Charminar, which is in San Diego, California. And uh, this place is very famous in San Diego. It's known for its Hyderabadi food. I've had Hyderabadi food before, but I'm pretty sure those food items were not authentic. So I'm really excited. Uh, have you had Hyderabadi food before? I have not. This is my first time. Ooh, Super excited. So you are in for a treat. Yeah. This place, as you guys can see, has uh, a lot of parking spaces out here. So if you live in San Diego, I highly recommend to come visit this place. And uh, the host was very sweet enough to host us. So without digressing any further, let's go inside. Hello, welcome to Charminar. You, Hi, Megan. Welcome Hi. to Charminar. Thank you. Thank you so much for hosting us. This was very sweet of you. Uh, it's our first time here. So why don't you start with introducing yourself and a little bit of the restaurant? Sure, definitely, definitely. Thank you for giving us a chance firstly. Uh -huh. And then my name is Syed Afzal and we are at Charminar. Uh -huh. This is an Indian restaurant. Like uh -huh. uh, mostly we are authentic Hyderabadi restaurant. Mm -hmm. So our menu consists of Southern Indian dishes. Okay and uh, we basically are known for our biryanis. Mm. We sell a lot of biryani guys, and then we sell a lot of halim. Mm -hmm. So our signature dishes are halim and biryanis. Okay. Yeah. Nice, that's, that's pretty sweet. So yeah. how did you come up with this idea? Like what, what made you initiate this whole process of like opening up a restaurant here? Sure, so I was a techie, I was working in Qualcomm and I was craving Indian food. Okay. So Hyderabadi food, so we looked around and we couldn't find real good authentic food. Mm -hmm. So we were like, we got to change that, we have to do something about it. Uh -huh. And then there were no Zabiha Halal restaurants in San Diego. Mm -hmm. So Zabiha Halal is like kind of like kosher for Muslims. Okay. Okay. So they were not really particularly like kosher, re like Muslim kosher restaurants, I right? See. So we wanted to start one place and we started like Fika Lounge in Pawe mm -hmm. and after that, it was like huge success. People loved it. We so, still order food from Tikka Lounge. Yeah, awesome, man. <laughs> awesome, awesome, guys. So we started this restaurant, Charminar in uh -huh. Mira Mesa. Mm -hmm. So what makes you guys unique? Like, is there something special you do in the kitchen? Mm -hmm. compared to other yes. Restaurants? So what we do is like we try to go the authentic way. We try to go the old school way of Indian cooking. So our biryani is the type of dum we do. It's like the old school way, like our grandmothers used to do back home, you know? My so, mouth is already yeah. working. <laughs> <laughs> we, tr we try to be as authentic as possible. Mm -hmm. So we want to share our Hyderabadi culture, our Hyderabadi food with like people from San Diego. So we started with that, yeah. That is great, that is great. Thank you so much for doing this once again. Ah, and, thank uh, you. I'm starving because I haven't had Perfect. anything yet. <laughs> so I've just been like waiting for this moment. Yeah. So yeah. let's just go and let's taste this amazing food let's that you're going go. to offer let's us. Go, let's, let's go, that's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are seated at the table and we have Harshad and Sai joining us. So I think my stomach is growling. Right. I don't know if the mics are picking that up, but I think we're ready for food. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so what do we have here, sir? Please, I'll have let him. So over here we have chicken angara. So okay. chicken angara is one of our spiciest dish that we have. So <laughs> it's gonna be spicy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. starting off with a high note. Okay. Yes. And then we have uh, crispy cauliflower. So it's cauliflower deep fried and then sauteed in Indian spices. And then we have our Hyderabadi special appetizer. This is majestic chicken. Ooh. So what we do is like, uh, it's chicken thigh meat cut into strips and then deep fried, sorted in uh, Hyderabadi spices. Makes yeah. sense. Nothing okay. is that really that spicy, but yeah. Let's, that let's just go together. Let's just okay. start with that one. I'm going to use my hands because I'm... Born that the way. Indian, of me, Indian inside of me is okay. coming out. I will do it too then. Hello. Yeah, I, I can I can taste the 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 Hyderabadi uh, flavor because I'm I'm from Kerala. Yeah. I, I don't know if you guys. Yeah, know. yeah, we know. So being from the south, like a lot of spices kind of overlap. Okay. So this brings a lot of childhood memories. You know what I'm perfect, so, perfect. Oh, that's just over. Mm, very good. Okay. Yeah. 
perfect appetizer. Right. How how on a spice level? How is that for you? It's it's okay. It's good. It's good. It's not getting. Uh, we'll get there. Okay. We'll definitely get there. So let's try the second one. Yeah. So this one is the crispy cauliflower. So this is our most popular vegetarian appetizer. Uh -huh. People like love it, love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, crispy cauliflower. You know what this this reminds me of? What? In a good way, it reminds me of uh, sweet and sour. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet and sour. Yeah. It reminds me of the Indo Chinese food Indo -Chinese. that I used to. Gobi Manchuria, yeah. kind of like closer to yeah, Gobi yeah, yeah. Manchuria. So that's yeah. what we wanted to replicate because, like, that, that food never came to US. Indo Chinese food is very rare in the US. And it's a perfect example. So the next up, Chicken Angara. Let's do it. Just the Brace name yourself. in itself sounds very yeah. dangerous, by the way. Yeah, so Angara in Hindi means fire. <laughs> yeah. So, good luck. Wish me luck first. <laughs> I'm in the luck. You have all the luck of the yes. entire universe. Cheers. Thank you. Give it time. It has not hit me yet. <laughs> wow, <Well>, God. <laughs> yeah. I think we might need I some water on the table. <laughs> so we use a lot of. Uh, along with the chili sauce, we also use a lot of like chili flakes in that so that gives a very dormant heat that hits after you eat the food a part of me kind of wishes that you had not told me that <laughs> <laughs> because just thinking about it is like making my body super hot right yeah now, now my my tongue is just sore <laughs> so you have like three different chilies in it yeah there's gonna be the regular jalapeno chili and then chili flakes and then chili sauce Okay, so we are done with the appetizers and we do see new food items here on the table. <laughs> uh, looks super fresh and hot. Uh, can we know about these dishes? Sure, so we have a mixed platter, kebab mixed platter over here. Mm -hmm. We have chicken seed kebab and we have tandoori chicken. We have bori kebab and we have zafrani paneer tikka. Mm -hmm. So chicken seek kebab, what we do is like uh, we mince chicken, mm -hmm. then mix our uh, like house special masalas, uh -huh. put it on a skewer, uh -huh. and then put it in tandoor. So tandoor, a clay oven is like 500 degrees, like it's hard, hard. And then uh, our zafrani paneer tikka. So zafrani means safe food. Okay. Zafran, safer in Hindi. So uh, it has like some saffron and other masalas and then same thing, we don't, uh, we cook it in the tandoor. Okay. So our tandoori chicken, which is also like people love our tandoori chicken. So we marinate the chicken leg quarters and that also goes in the tandoor. Yeah, yeah. And chicken boti kebab. So for chicken boti kebab, we use white meat, okay. marinate it with our like house special spices, marinate, keep it for like three, four hours so the marinade comes into the chicken and then we put that in tandoori. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah, and for all the people who are health nuts out there, tandoori items are the best things to eat yeah. because they're super like lean on like carbs and fat. Yeah. Yeah, let's just dig in and uh, we'll find out the taste. Yeah, so I would recommend starting with the leanest meat. Sprinkle some lemon and then dip in the sauces and go at it. Yes, let's do this. One from a lady. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> I can see heaven. Yeah. <laughs> so the best part about this is like, it's just the spices mm -hmm. and the protein. There's very minimal fat on it. There's very, no carbs, obviously. So it's just so healthy. Yeah. So we do have naan here as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to replicate the childhood memory of pao. Let's do it, man. Do it. Let's do it. I don't know if it's going to taste. I don't know if it's going to do justice, but we shall try. How do interesting you like the kebab? It's an interesting Is the kebab good? Mm. Oh yes, oh yes. Yeah. I mean, I can definitely taste the texture of uh, the ground chicken. Ground chicken. Uh -huh. yeah. it's, it's kind of almost like melting in our mouth. Right. And also like 
sheet kebab in general is like it's like an art form mm -hmm. because it takes a lot of skill to actually like put that meat on the skewer perfectly so that it cooks like that yeah another great thing that i learned today i didn't know that the tandoor oven could go up to like 500 degrees celsius that's crazy oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and like we put hands in it so yeah it, yeah. it is really cool so to you, see. When you take out your hand, does it come out as a kebab or? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Like the first time I did it, like it was two years ago. Nobody warned me that you lose your hair when you put put it in. And this was in Indianapolis. And I put my hand in, put the naan in, and then I take out. My hair is gone on my hand. Half of my mustache is gone. <laughs> Half of my beard is gone. <laughs> and everybody's laughing. I was just like, what is this about? Was, they're just like. Mm, you should know. <laughs> There's no easy way to learn. So, I'm gonna try the the, the tandoori chicken. The tandoori chicken, yeah. <gasps> Looks delicious. Looks uh, juicy. It so, is. I'm gonna tear a little bit for Megan. That's a very small piece. I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry. I did not do a good job. Wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just brace yourself. Okay. You might get. Or maybe I just did it on purpose. I wanted a bigger piece for myself. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So you said that you opened this restaurant right before the pandemic. Yeah. So what kind of helped you stay open and what helped you grow during the pandemic? Sure. The pandemic, like, okay, the pandemic was the sure, hardest was time. It was crazy, crazy. So when we opened up this place, it was just two days before the lockdown. So we opened up, we started like serving our customers. The first day we did good, second day was okay. Third day, we changed, we had to change our business model. We started doing takeouts. And it was pretty, pretty rough in the beginning. It was crazy bad. But then what happened was like we partnered with some uh, nonprofit organizations. And then we started a neighborhood love program where people who lost their job or people who were not able to go outside, we used to deliver them foods. So in like maybe two to three months, we gave about 8,000 to 9,000 uh, meals in partnership with the uh, nonprofit organization called MLC. Yeah, so then what happened was like people, people loved it so much, the word of mouth, it grew by little by little, little by little. And then like people really tasted our food and they started coming to us. We get a lot of support from like our local community because we do a lot. Like we try to like do anything what we can do in the community and like people love us. Yeah. yeah. So it's, the idea is that you get something, you give it back. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. So give and take, which is yeah. beautiful. Mm -hmm. So if you're from San, San Diego, uh, and if you're looking for some authentic Hyderabadi food, this is the place to do, guys. Because we have to write all the food. Well, not all. Not all. Exactly. Not all. Yeah. So uh, you have you have our word that this is great. And if you are a Hyderabadi and if you are from San Diego, or if you just love one person or all of us, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel and do let us know what we should do next. As you guys can see, we have mango lassi here. Mango lassi. This is just so we don't die out of the food coma and the spiciness. So mango lassi is like mango drink and mango yogurt milk. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. So we finally have the entrees in front of us. Uh, we have four different dishes. I'm excited to hear all about it. Perfect. So we have malai kofta over here. Yum. And then we have goat uh, suka. Okay. We have chicken suka. Okay. And then we have damka chicken. So damka chicken is a traditional Hyderabadi dish that we make in marriages. Okay. So we like uh, old school, like they used to make in marriages, like in, in large batches, damka chicken, and like serve it to people. It's like a specialty dish uh, that that was made only in marriages. Okay. Uh, me personally, I've not seen that dish in any other restaurant. Okay. It's very specific to our restaurant only. So if you do want to try damka chicken, please, yes. Charminar is the place. Yeah. So, so if you know, you know, do you guys want to start with the vegetarian ones or the chicken ones? Let's start with the vegetarian ones. Malai Kofta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the base of the sauce is onion, it's an onion base and we use a we use heavy cream mm -hmm. balls, I suppose, are made out of uh, like a lot of veggies and paneer. They're boiled veggies, 
mashed and then deep fried. Yeah. Okay, so I've had malai kofta mm -hmm. before, and this one definitely sticks to the expectation. Right. So I'm going to take into the next dish, which is goat. So our next dish is goat chutney. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Chutney. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Perfect. I was Perfect. gonna say it might so sound familiar for you. Yeah, you'll be the best judge of it. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is dairy free, and we use coconut cream instead of like regular milk dairy cream. So as you guys know, I'm from Kerala, mm -hmm. so ch chicken chutney, goat chutney, these are the stuff that I used to eat a lot mm -hmm. whenever I used to go to Kerala. Um, yeah, I mean again, like another one of those dishes that kind of brings back my childhood. Right. So thank you so much, guys. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. So Megan, how, how what do you think about it? It's delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So the next one we have chicken sukkah, I believe. Yes. Chicken sukkah. Yeah. In the entrees, that's our spiciest option. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna use my hands as yeah. usual. I'm gonna serve my lady first. <laughs> mm. How do you like the flavor? It's, it's different, it's, but yeah. I really like it. Really? I was just gonna say the same thing. It's different. I How? definitely feel a little spice, so it's not too bad. So when you eat this, is the spice in your mouth or in your throat, like in the body? It's in my throat. Yeah, this uh, this dish in general gives you a lot of body heat, then mouth heat. The mouth heat just hits you right away. Mm -hmm. This hits after like a couple of bites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can definitely feel the flavor of curry leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't see a lot of curry leaves in a lot of dishes made usually, so yeah, this is great. Mm -hmm. It it is so difficult sometimes to uh, uh, discern the difference in taste of all of these dishes because they all look so similar but yeah. taste so different. Yeah. Taste so different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all the masalas used in all the dishes are different. So chicken chutney, chutney masala, yes. chicken suka, chicken suka masala, and then malai kofta. It's like on completely different mm -hmm. level. So that was great. Now we are going to go to our signature dish, I yes. believe. So now we'll go for dumka chicken. And put it over here. All right. This I would advise a spoon. Yeah. Okay. A lot of gravy. Yes. So this is more gravyish. Uh -huh. So it has like thick gravy and bone and chicken. Okay. And it has like different type of nuts in it. It has the base is made about almond, cashew nuts, uh, pistachio. So it's very rich dish. Mm -hmm. yeah. And coconut flakes, there's a lot going on in that. So right off the bat, just by looking at it, I want to say that this looks like chicken tikka masala. But I'm pretty, yeah. but I know it's not. <laughs> uh, it's miles apart. Miles apart. I cannot stress yeah. that enough. It's like miles apart. And this looks delicious because when I was like trying to get the chicken piece, like the sure. whole thing was like kind of falling apart. So I can see how tender this is. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that looks delicious. So Dumka chicken is better eaten with naan and rice. Yeah. This is the smallest portion I ever took. <laughs> I don't, know if, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this looks extremely, extremely delicious and extremely tender. Wow. So I hope you guys are ready for my reaction. <laughs> so rich. Perfect. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Wow. Like I I rand I want to order like a bucket full of this. Right. And at the same time trying to relish it. And I'm at the same time trying to know what is in the dish. So like like he has explained, there's a lot of uh, the gravy itself is made purely nut based. We sort the roast the nuts first and then make them into a puree and then cook the chicken with it. And of course, there's a blend of spices involved in that as well. But secret spices, man. So, yeah, that's that's the problem. Yeah. A lot of times we're saying a blend of spices. We just 
cannot give you what yeah, they are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But this is amazing. This is, I mean, so far this has been the dish that has stood out. Personally speaking. Personally, Personally speaking. That's great news. Because mm-hmm. this makes you a part of Charmina family. Because this is a very auspicious dish in a way. Alright, so I do see two new dishes here with rice. Yes. So this is a more so dish. So this one, goat dum biryani. The goat dum biryani. Okay. So we sell a lot of goat dum biryani. We just sell it from Friday to Sunday. And we are always, always sold out. So at the end of the day, we are always sold out. Yeah. I feel special now. <laughs> and uh, we have one more biryani right here. So our uh, chicken dum biryani, same thing. So we cook like uh, both the biryanis in a different way. So we cook the goat biryani with goat and chicken with chicken. So what happens is like the chicken biryani, you taste it more chicken flavor. And in the goat dum biryani, you get the goat flavor because the goat and rice, uh, they are cooked together. Yes. So I guess like the, the fat of the meat kind of blends with the rice. And yes. That, that, that is what makes it like very delicious. So the rice gets steamed with the fat of the meat and then the steam. So the uh, the flavors of the meat comes into the rice. That just sounds amazing. Uh, so let's you gotta begin. try it. Dig it, dig it. Okay. It's literally melting in my mouth right now. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's the thing about food, especially like, because uh, my mom used to make a lot of good dishes. You have to know when to stop cooking. Yes. Yeah, because if you overcook, it, it kind be- of becomes like a rubber. Yeah, it becomes like fibery, like it's real tough, stretchy, right? Yeah. yeah. Sugar. So the next one is chicken dum chicken biryani. Chicken dum biryani. So biryani is a specialty brother. We we make the we make the best best biryani in Sindh. So all our biryanis are made the old school way. Mm-hmm. So we make it in big handis. Okay. So what we do is like we put the meat and then we put the rice and then seal it with dough. Oh, okay. So the steam doesn't ex- escape out. Yeah. So and then it gets like done, and then we remove the dough and the biryani is ready. Yeah. And that kind of like keeps the flavor inside that yes. pot. Yes. Yes. So that's why like when you s- smell it, like you smell all the flavors as well. Mm, so good. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Chicken is so tender and juicy, it's like perfect. Cool. Mm-hmm. So we finally have the dessert. The dessert, the main thing. So this is shahi tukra. So what shahi tukra is like bread triangles and on top of it we have rabdi. And on top of rabdi we have like dry food. So you get a sweet crunchy taste. It looks really good. Shahi as a name suggests it's Royal. It's royal. Shahi it's means it's royal. Yeah. It's a royal desert. Royal desert. Yes. Yeah. You did? Perfect. Very crunchy. Yeah. And the thing that I like about the desert is that it's not super sweet. Yeah, it's not super sweet. Because I have a sweet tooth, but I don't like super sweet stuff. Yeah. And this perfectly suits my sweet tooth. Awesome, awesome. It's a perfect end to the meal. Yes. Light, not too heavy, not too... Uh, mm-hmm. So uh, finally we are at the end of it. And uh, I cannot believe we have tried all of these dishes. Like, I didn't know my stomach had that much of capacity, to be honest. But all of the food items were great. Uh, thank you so much, Sayed, for Thanks. tasting us. Uh, it was a pleasure coming here and tasting all of these wonderful and delicious food items. Yeah. My personal standout is Dum Kachi. Dum Kachi, for sure. Hands down. Uh, yeah. What's your favorite? I would say the biryani, for sure. Yeah. Biryani, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. She's playing it safe. <laughs> just kidding. But to be honest, like I just cannot say enough about how delicious the food is. Mm-hmm. So thank you so much, Sayed, once again. Uh, 
if you live in San Diego or anywhere please. near San Diego even if you live in Irvine or Los Angeles or yeah. San Francisco or Canada even <laughs> <laughs> this place is a must visit so please check it out and uh, we will leave all of the details of this restaurant in our description box and uh, please like share and subscribe to our channel share this video with all of your friends because that means the world to us so do share it with your known ones and uh, that was it uh, thank you thank you so much thank you for again. coming over thank you for supporting us we appreciate it thank you thank you yeah. we'll see you guys next time